Today I'm going to show you how you can enable any old or new wallet with RFID card protection. This will protect the data on your tap and go contactless payment cards from being stolen by digital pickpockets. If you're new to the channel, I make a lot of video reviews about some of the best RFID blocking wallets and popular crowdfunded wallets and card holders. Subscribe or check out the playlist separately if that interests you. So we're going to test the NFC Shield card blocker. It's a credit card size blocker and it's even thinner at just 0.56 millimeters. This means you don't have to go out and buy a new RFID blocking wallet or purse. I'll show you my real world test, but first let's explain how it works. It's easier if I begin by explaining how your contactless bank card works. A powered RFID reader in a store makes an electromagnetic field which generates electricity in the chip of your bank card by induction. And this is how the RFID card and the card reader are able to exchange information. The NFC shield absorbs high frequency and low frequency electromagnetic waves so your RFID or NCF bank card gets no power and cannot send data. Clever! The RFID blocker is made up of special metallic multiple foil layers. An alternative to this kind of technology is a jammer. They work by detecting an incoming signal and then throwing up a scrambling signal like a porcupine. From my research, jammers just don't work as well, are more expensive and complex, and some can set off store alarms. So these blocking cards are the best solution I can find. I purchased these from eBay. They're listed by the manufacturer in Germany and ship worldwide. You can buy two blocking cards for less than $10. I'll put a link in the description for you. It's their second generation of the product and you can use the card blocker in two ways. You can have just one blocker which will protect two cards on either side of it. Or you can have a stack of cards sandwiched between two blocking cards. I asked for and received detailed information on how they were tested. I can't replicate those same scientific standards of testing, but embarked on a real world test. I don't normally test the RFID function of the products I feature, but this one had me curious. I was expecting a metal plate of some sort, but it actually feels like a flexible credit card, just thinner. I used real in-store machines. I tested the blocker in three different stores because the first two attempts my camera wasn't rolling and I got no footage. Three pints of milk later that I didn't really want. I can report that it worked in all three stores. Take a look. Notice how I present the bank card directly to face the machine reader with the blocker on the reverse side and how I didn't even have it positioned well. And it works fantastic. The machine just can't detect the card at all. This was really hard to film holding my camera and cards and trying not to look suspect. I dropped the blocking card on the floor here and then pay for my milk just to show you my bank card does work. This is how they would best be placed in a regular bifold wallet and here in a plastic minimalist mini band style wallet or a popular style automatic pop-up wallet. Because this is a dedicated product and because I've tested and have confidence in it, I throw one in whatever wallet I'm using and I'm certain my bank cards are safe. The manufacturer guarantee 100% protection or 100% money back. So for anyone that doesn't care for a special RFID wallet, now you can get dedicated proven technology at a price point that everyone can benefit. 